Hello anyone who watches this video. This is going to be a rather short video on how to use Flood Forces as a UNSC in Halo Wars Definitive Edition. This is the first tutorial I've ever done with my voice, so please bear with me and I hope you can follow along with what I'm doing. So what I don't know what to do first is get these two folders here. It's UWP Dumper and the Phoenix Mod Tools by Cornman. I'll leave the uh, links in the description of the video so you can download them. So let's begin. What you really want to do first is launch Halo Wars Definitive Edition. Once it's launched, you're going to want to tap out. Go into your unified Windows platform dumper and launch. You're going to want to enter the process ID of Microsoft.build.threshold. In this case, it's 13464. What this does is it dumps the game without its encryption into a temporary folder which is located in your C drive, users, your user, app data, local packages. Just show you now. So you want to go to C, your C drive, users, you, app data, local uh, packages and you don't want to look for microsoft.build.threshold you then go to temp state and this is, the f this is where the dumped game will be as you can see there's a lot of power here here that when it's finished it will, it will appear in the file that, that it's finished. Just wait for that to happen. The folder should end up at 10 terabyte when it's done as well. So we'll come back when it's finished. Hello anyone who watches this video. This is going to be a rather short video on how to use Flood Forces as a UNSC in Halo Wars Definitive Edition. This is right, so the game dump is now complete. As you can see the Lord it tells you that dump is complete and the game folder size should be 9.3 sets straight away when done. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to cut this folder out of the temp state because we're going to be uninstalling the game in a moment and if we uninstall the game while it's still in there it does delete that folder, hence the name temp state. So we'll just cut that out and paste it onto the desktop. Uh, yes we will be moving it without encryption. We'll just wait for that to happen. We also want to just close off Halo Wars Definitive Edition. Since we won't actually be needing it running right now. Just do this for all current items and yes. 
what this does is it takes it without encryption so we can actually modify the files as we please. Almost. Any day now. So, now that the game is now copied out of that folder, we'll cut it out. We're going to uh, go to Apps and Features. We're going to find Halo Wars Definitive Edition. And we're going to uninstall it. As you can see, as soon as we uninstalled it, that f folder path went away. So, like that. Now what we're going to want to do now is, in my case, add to delete this. You might not have to, but what we're going to want to do is go to this very specific script, which was in Cornman's blog if I still got it up. And she always forgets something. So, we're just going to make this batch file. We're going to, uh, what that will do is it will install the game. through the loose files itself. Now as I said As I say, I delete this file here, it's app signature p7x, you might not have to do it yourself. So, if you did that right there, it could be either one of two things. It could be that one, you haven't got developers mode on, which you need on for this, or it could be that you have this file here. If you if you wrote developers mode on, then it's this file. So you just delete that and install, and there we go. We now have Halo Wars Definitive Edition installed again. Hope you find that so what we're going to do now. So we're going to open this here, this is uh, the Phoenix Mod Tools by Cornman. We're going to open up the dump, well, the game folder again. We're going to launch phxdue.exe. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the hdmfinal.exe and we're just going to drag it on to the mod tool. What that will do is it patches the EXC so that it can run modified.era files. 
So next what we're going to do is we're going to set an ERA span path and an ERA build path. So expand and build apparently. So expand. What we're going to do specifically right now is we're going to take the root.era file and we're going to do the same thing, we're going to drag it and drop. What that'll do is it extracts the era file into the expand folder. Right, let's try to downline that now. We're going to go into data. We're going to take text.xml.xmb we're going to do the same drag and drop and that makes a text.xml we're also going to go to objects.xml.xmb because these are two files we're going to be modifying we're going to do the same again xml xml go back out other than now we're going to go to the era def well the root to ERA def we're going to edit that we're just going to turn to control F we're going to do objects dot XML and this bit here we're going to take the dot XMB extension off but leave XML and we're going to do the same for text that of what that does is when we rebuild the dot ERA it tells the game what file to use so rather than using the xmb file that will be put in it will use the xml file instead now just go back in we're going to open up the objects and we're going to open up the text so this is where things get a little bit complicated. Now, unfortunately, I don't have this on the top of my head, so we're going to go to this. We're just going to look for this string here, make life a little bit easier for ourselves. So, as far as I understand, this is what defines what units and even buildings that the UNSC have access to. So you've got your Cyclops, your Gremlin, your Elephant, your Cobra, Scorpion, and so on and so forth. Now, if it's not in here, then we're not going to be able to even add the text, the objects file we won't be able to actually use it so just say if you want to let's use a third combat form elite for example we're going to go to the objects file very quickly and we're just going to search for infected so let's maybe try infected elite what do I want to do is this name here this is the name of the unit in the game what we're going to do is we're going to just copy this create a new entry and we're going to replace the unsc.inf or under slash inf under slash cyclops under slash zero one we're going to take the infected elite, we're going to copy that and we're going to replace it as such. We're going to save the file right now and then we're going to look for the barracks. So we're just going to look, where is it? This one? 
yes so we're gonna look for this specific thing here this specific string here and we're gonna hold down and we're gonna look at this command train squad position 1 UNSC in Marine the position refers to the position on the build menu where position 1 is the Marines or if you don't upgrade the ODST position 2 is the, Marine, the Flame Marine and position 3 is the Spartan so what we're going to do in this case is we're going to just take the Flame Marine and we're going to replace that with the Infected Elite once more and we're going to save that as well Right, now both those files are saved what we're going to do is we're going to take this root.era def and we're going to drag that into the mod tool and it's going to build a new .era file for us got to rename the original, it's just ERA backup got to go back out of the expand folder, go to the build and there we go, our root.era got to just move that into the folder and we're going to start Halo Wars definitive edition yep, that's it. now obviously I'm not going to show you how to do it for them all I'm just driven a basic idea on how to do it specifically so we're going to start the game we're going to build barracks I've done this enough Enemy engagement. Barracks complete. And congratulations, you just learned how to spawn the flood. Now they don't take power, they don't take resources at all, so you can just spam, but they do take population slots. So far I've only used the jackals, the infection farms, the brutes, and the elites. And so f and from what I've seen, only the infection farms can be spawned infinitely. Without further modification. They're mine! But yeah, that's that's how to spawn the flood in the game. That's how to go back to your menus and how to use them. It's simple, it's just that it's just simple to add more, you just search your class names and rinse and repeat like we're done. So despite how bad this tutorial is, hopefully it's simple enough for you to follow yourself and hopefully you can continue from yourself from that point uh, so yeah that's the tutorial ciao